what's up barbara's bunch welcome to my video or welcome and welcome back to my channel so in today's video i am packing another order and in this particular order my cousin ordered two different last styles for his girlfriend so as you can see i'm showing you guys the first style which is afro chic and this is how it looks yeah this style is um 16 mm so she's a part of my natural styles and the next lash he ordered is afro hebrew and that is 25 mm yep, in the color blue because i have different colors and variants for this particular lash so i'm just showing you guys like how i pack and ship this order off but yeah so it's just those two and of course each order will come customized in my lash packaging and if you're wondering where i customized the outside of the box i did it on uprinting.com it was pretty simple but the inside i did myself you know i painted it i added the flowers and butterflies and stuff I have a video on here of how I did that. So if you want to check it out, you should. But yeah, so the colors for this one is just teal at the top, plum in the middle, and magenta at the bottom. I do different color schemes for each box. You know, I'm just like testing out the colors and stuff. But my packing videos, like, they're not going to be long because I already pre-customized everything before any orders, you know. I might start to do made to order stuff but for now this is just how i do it makes it easier for me so now i'm gonna place the lash boxes in silo bags i believe that's what they're called just to make sure the box and everything is protected while it's in transit yeah so you're just gonna see me put them in the silo bag Yeah. Oh yeah, and if you're wondering like what size I got for the silo bags, um I don't remember, but it's not the typical four by six one because the width of my boxes are very like wide so i had to get the biggest size but i'll try to look for my receipt and tell you guys and if you're interested in starting a lash business i recommend that you put your lashes in like some kind of protection you know so while it's in transit it doesn't mess up or get damaged and stuff like that I don't know why I always place it like that. <laughs> but you just see me fixing them. I don't know, maybe I'm just extra like that, but I want it to face a certain way. Oh, and I got like the size of my shipping box, right? I th believe it's eight by eight by two. And I got that size so that when somebody orders multiple items from me, it'll all fit in the box. Like literally four or five pairs of lashes while in my lash boxes could fit in one box. So, and, and then plus, you know, the flowers and butterflies at the bottom as well. And it's not even heavy, it's very light still. So I'm glad I got that size, but I do plan on expanding and you know doing more products like lip glosses wigs you know just stuff like that and i'm also thinking about adding my self-written and self-published book called adun and adun means sweetness in yerba um it's just basically a fictional story about the deities and orishras 
and I think it's interesting. So I'm gonna launch that pretty soon. You know, just taking everything one step at a time. But yeah, let me know what y'all think about everything. So next, after placing the tape on the back of the boxes so that they don't move all around while in transit, I'm gonna add my business and thank you cards on top of it. And whenever somebody orders from me, I make sure that I ship out the order at least one to two days after they order because I like to just, you know, make sure everybody gets what they pay for as soon as possible. So yeah, I ship like same next day, even though my policy does say allow one to five business days, excluding weekends and holidays, I make it my responsibility to just ship it out as soon as possible because you feel me so i really do pride myself on that and i'm also having a march madness sale at the moment all items are 30 percent off by using the code cairo in all caps at checkout so if you're interested in shopping with me I would really appreciate that and you will not be disappointed I promise but yeah mm -hmm. so now I'm just placing the business and thank you cards on top of the lash boxes and then that's it for that then I place it in the poly mailer so I gotta get bigger size for the polymers, but since I ordered a certain amount, I'm just gonna make sure those um, are finished before I do all that. So now you see it's in the polymiller, and then I gotta add. Yeah, me a cinnamon a jammy to represent for the EGF foodie. Modesty. Yeah. 